Hey guys, what's up? Andre here from Beefutaki. Um, this video is a redo of something because um, a lot of people are asking on the uh, Black Magic forums how I'm able to actually get my 4K, how I was able to get my 4K card working with the driver 1037. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically show you. I'm running on the 1037. I have both two Intensity Pros and a 4K installed here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I already have my PS4 connected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up. Where is it? I'm going to open up Blackmagic Media Express. And we are going to get things going here. So as you can see, we already have um, everything set up. To I have my console set to 1080p. Um, so... I already have everything all set. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the preferences, make sure that we're actually using an RGB input. Okay, so as we're using an RGB input, I'm going to tell it not to do that, and we're going to go ahead and close it. Now, one thing I've learned is certain HDMI cables suck in my house, so I have to actually, like, switch them out. So now, what we're doing now, well... I'm just trying to switch out the HDMI cable real quick. Alright, so as you can see, we are getting full video and of course as you can see there's audio there. So um, I'm going to log in and basically head on over to um, settings, sound and screen, and video output settings. So as you can see, it's 1080p. RGB is set to automatic. TV size is not set because obviously this card does actually allow you to pick up things in 3D, which is pretty cool to me. So uh, yeah, um, not even gonna bother picking the size of the TV because it doesn't really matter. But um, as you guys can see, I am capturing. I'm able to capture my PS4 using the 10.37 drivers. Today's date is what? May 28th, 2015. Once again, all you have to do is just make sure you're on an RGB input. So QuickTime, un QuickTime uncompressed 10-bit RGB or even DPX 10-bit RGB, which you actually have to take all this capture DPX from a YUV scene or source rather and you should still have the picture here because as soon as you go into here you change it to let's say an 8-bit YUV that video goes away you're just gonna get a black screen and just audio you have to have it set to an RGB input so 10-bit RGB in fact here's something that's funny if you use QuickTime Apple ProRes 444 it actually well not today well, let me see. It's one of these ProRes actually works. I can't remember which one. Let me see. Let's go through all of these. LT. I can't remember which one it is. But. HQ. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't work now. Yeah, doesn't work. In fact, nope, sorry. It was when I was testing with the Xbox 360. It actually showed on all of them. But either way, just pick an RGB input. You'll be fine. All right. Um, hopefully this video helps you guys better understand what's going on. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to actually use 1037. I actually have to use 10.4 since I use multiple Blackmagic cards. And on my MacBook Pro, I'm actually using XSplit. And I need to be able to actually use all my cards. And 10.4 is pretty much a much more stable driver than 1037. Um, another thing about 10.4 is when you... Huh. Sorry about that. My mic shut off. But... um. Another problem with 10.4 is, is that a lot of these things that you have here, especially in Media Express, you're not unable to actually select RGB. So if you were to select QuickTime Uncompressed RGB, it still captures in a YUV color space. So 
that that's something that you guys should note 10.4 it doesn't allow you to fully capture things in RGB anymore it still captures things in YUV and it's very clear that the PS4 the Wii U the Xbox one and the PlayStation 3 um, if you're capturing from a HDMI signal it's going to be RGB no matter what you cannot change that unless you get yourself a frame meister and HD fury 2 3 3d or 4 whatever they're up to i believe they're up to like four or five now with the hd furies you just need something that converts it from one to another so that's pretty much it either way um thank you guys for watching again hopefully this does answer your questions and uh feel free to message me if you guys have any more